All right, say the word Google, and what do you think of? Amazing, right? Well, Google can guide you through almost everything that exists in the world today. Almost. Right now, Liz Dahlem shows us how Google's ambitious new project, mapping the inside of the healthy human body, is going to work. Watch. When I say Google to you, what do you think of? I think of internet search engine. When you say the word Google, I think of ways of getting certain information that I otherwise normally wouldn't be able to get. They're both right, but Google is moving into completely new territory inside the human body. Google's research lab, Google X, uh, is doing a new project called Baseline Study where they want to gather basically as much data as possible about the human body. Jill Shar is a staff writer for the tech website Tom's Guide, and she broke down the study for us. Google will monitor 175 anonymous participants. Their body fluids have already been collected. Throughout the study, the participants will sport wearable devices like the smart contact lens to gather biological data. That actually monitors the glucose levels in your body, so the sugar. It was basically first developed to help uh, diabetes patients, mm -hmm. and this is one of the first uh, sort of rounds of testing that the participants of baseline study will go through. Google hopes to find biomarkers or genetic indicators for illnesses like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. If they can identify a sort of... Um, a biomarker, it's called, or a sign that, that you are more susceptible to that kind of disease, then you can start a preventative regimen. Current Google users have mixed feelings about the research. As long as it's going in a positive direction, there are a lot of ethical dilemmas that then are going to all turn into, it's all going to facilitate out of this. I would definitely trust that opinion um, when I'm looking for something to either improve my own health, look for friends' health or family's health. I just can't believe how amazing this stuff is. Really, it's extraordinary. I know, that contact lens, wow. right? It yeah. doesn't look too comfortable, right. but it's got to do a lot of work inside. Talk about the advances. Now, but there are some issues, and I know you kind of touched on this. Right. Uh, there's a privacy issue here that we have to deal with, right? This information can become available to a lot of people. Definitely. If it does, that's going to be a huge problem for mm. Google. Of course, we're not saying that ha that has happened, right. but that is, of course, a possibility. Another big thing people are looking at, those biomarkers that yeah. I just discussed in the piece, yes. people might be thinking, say, for example, I find out I have one for cancer. Am I going to be able to get insured by my insurance? Is there going to be an issue with getting coverage? Um, and of course, this is a huge business move for Google. Yeah, what did they just come up with? Uh, Google Fit, right? Google Fit, yeah, yeah. That was just released two days ago. It's a platform for users to track their fitness. So we're seeing a lot of intertwining with these two ideas, these two products. So they stand to make a lot of money here. I know, already. but overall, when you think about the advances, it really is amazing. I mean, it, it's extraordinary and you think here we are today where are we going to be in five years from now ten years from now you can't even imagine it there's always been a partnership between medicine and technology right. of course but now we're seeing it shift in a whole new way well so hopefully it'll make us all live better and live longer too that's right? the hope yeah like of course. Liz, thank you so Thanks, much Ernie. great story thank you.